this is a true crime story of a girl namely Ashley Dale, who was just 28 years old but she paid for the price of double life of her boyfriend. What happened to Ashley Dale? Why she was shot dead in her room while thinking of future life with her boyfriend? Why Ashley's body was found in the garden of her home? Who killed her in her own house? Who punctured the tire of her car on the night of murder? Where was her boyfriend at the time of murder? Global True Crime brings you exclusive details inside the true murder mystery of a young beautiful girl, Ashley Dale. Ashley, an environmental health worker for Nosley Council was just 28 years old. She was a beautiful young woman with the rest of her life ahead of her. She was at home that night, in a place she was meant to feel safe. She was making a positive contribution as an environmental health officer at Nosley Council and she'd just successfully achieved a promotion. Heartbreakingly, she never got the chance to begin her new job as her life was cut short in the most brutal and merciless way. A few years back she met a guy named Lee Harrison, who introduced himself as a thorough gentleman and soon they start to talk each other on regular basis. Lee was a young guy, who introduced himself as a traveler and Ashley trusted him blindly without knowing about his past. Their relationship started to grow and after some time they shifted to a separate house in Old Swan, Liverpool. While they were staying together, Ashley observed that Lee was staying out for most of the time and whenever she asked him about his absence, he always tried to hide the things. Ashley became capricious and started to discuss things she was observing with her friends. Ashley often texts them as to how she was feeling and how the strange behavior of Lee is raising so many questions in her mind. In messages to a friend on the 1st of August, she said, I don't want to have to go to Lee's funeral next and I just have a bad bad feeling about everything. My nerves are gone when I am out in the car with Lee just feeling like I'm looking over my shoulder all the time. In more voice notes, Miss Dale told another friend she had asked Harrison to be honest about everything so she could prepare for the worst. She added, I don't normally want to know but I need to know what's going to happen. One day she came to know that Mr. Lee was a drug dealer and he is still in contact with so many wrong people dealing with him on regular basis. August 21, 2022 was that fateful night when Ashley was innocently watching TV. Suddenly someone broke the main door of her house and then there was a loud sound of firing across the door. The next thing neighbor heard was scream of Miss Dale. She was shot in the abdomen, lay dying in the ominous shadows of her backyard, discovered by a neighbor amidst the haunting silence of the night. The vicious attack took place at 12.30 am. Soon the paramedics and police rushed to the crime scene where they found Ashley Dale lying motionless in her lawn at the back of her house. Police started to collect evidence from the crime scene and initiated investigation to catch culprits. Later on funeral of Ashley Dale was held publicly. After some time inter-investigation police found out that the roots of this dark saga reached back three years, entwined with the treacherous dealings of Barry, the orchestrator of a county line's drugs ring. 
A festering vendetta emerged from an alleged drug theft that had severed ties between Barry and Lee Harrison. After collecting credible evidence police started to arrest the culprits behind Ashley Dale's murder. What's your name, fella? Francis. Say that again. Francis Cullen. Yeah, James. Right, okay, you're under arrest for suspicion of murder. All right, you have to say anything. The Army defense, you don't know, make too much questions. You put it on the floor. Anything you do say, maybe give me evidence. All right. Open the windows. Open the door. Yeah, no bother. Just pop the door for us, please, mate, until we confirm your identity. We'll put you in handcuffs. What's your name, fella? Eh? Nile. Time is 25-2, mate. You're going to be arrested under suspicion of possession of that, okay? Is it? It's in your bag with your passport in it, okay? Yeah, I've just said that to you before. I'm in defence. Do you not mention any questions? Do you lay around in court? Anything you do say may be given evidence, all right? Later on police submitted the evidence before the court and jury following the arrests of accused persons. As the courtroom held its breath, the prosecutor's narrative wove a web of suspense, leaving the jury on the edge of their seats, entangled in the dark and twisted threads of a deadly vendetta. In the gripping courtroom drama, prosecutor Paul unraveled a chilling tale of betrayal and vengeance. The court heard the feud began around three years before the shooting, when Mr. Harrison sided with the Hillside organized crime group after they allegedly stole drugs from Barry. It was reignited when they both attended the Glastonbury Festival in June 2022 and described by Ms. Dale in voice notes she sent to friends in the two months before her murder. During the festival a friend of Barry namely Sean Zesh was attacked by Jordan Thompson. Niall Barry used these new events at Glastonbury to reignite that old feud and as tensions simmered in Liverpool Niall Barry made a series of threats directed towards Lee Harrison. Ian Fitzgibbon who flew to Dubai after the shooting and was extradited from Spain in August told the jury he had witnessed Barry threatening to stab Mr Harrison during the festival. During the time between Glastonbury and her death, Ashley Dale began sending voice messages to her friends in which she explained how worried she was about the feud between her boyfriend and Barry. In messages, she told friends she had a bad bad feeling about everything. According to the prosecution, on the 20th of August Nile Barry dispatched James Whittam and Joseph Pierce to kill Lee Harrison and anyone who got in the way. Sean Zesh and Barry were directing the hit from a flat on Pilch Lane. Around 11.40 p.m. Whittam and Piers both approached Ashley's white Volkswagen T-Rock car and slashed its tires and set off its alarm hoping it would lure Lee Harrison out of the house. However Harrison was not in the house. It is thought that Ashley Dale assumed heavy rain had set off the alarm and decided to stay inside. At 12.30 a.m., Whittam kicked in the door Ashley screamed and fled towards the back door but Whittam pursued her. The prosecution say a neighbor heard Ashley scream get out of my house. He fired 10 bullets in her dining room, one hitting Miss Dale in the abdomen as she stood by the back door and five bullets into the wall of an upstairs bedroom. When police arrived, they found Ashley's phone just feet away from her body with which she attempted to call Harrison for help. According to prosecutors during the police investigation Harrison was uncooperative after Ashley Dale's death. He changed his number 12 hours after she was murdered and eventually travelled to Spain. All three men along with Sean Zesh were charged with murder and pleaded not guilty. Barry rejected the suggestion that Whittam had been working for him but he told the court he was dealing in drugs with values of tens of thousands of pounds. 
James Whittam did admit to manslaughter but claimed he never meant to kill Ashley Dale and only intended to give a warning. He sprayed 10 bullets with one hitting Dale in the stomach. Her boyfriend, Lee Harrison, a drug dealer, was the intended target during the attack on August 21 last year. The family of Ashley Dale attended the full court proceedings till the day of verdict. Following a seven-week trial at Liverpool Crown Court, a jury found James Whittam, Sean Zesch, Niall Barry and Joseph Pierce guilty of the murder of 28-year-old Ashley who was fatally shot in her home in Leinster Road on August 21. Sean Zesch, 28, of Longreach Road in Highton, was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 42 years for the murder of Ashley Dale, conspiracy to murder Lee Harrison, conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon with intent to endanger life. Niall Barry, 26, was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 47 years for the murder of Ashley Dale, conspiracy to murder Lee Harrison, conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon with intent to endanger life. Joseph Piers, 29, of Woodlands Road in Roby, was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 41 years for the murder of Ashley Dale, conspiracy to murder Lee Harrison, conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon with intent to endanger life. James Whittam, 41, of Ashbury Road, Highton, was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 43 years for the murder of Ashley Dale, conspiracy to murder Lee Harrison, conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon with intent to endanger life. The four men were also found guilty of conspiracy to murder Ashley's boyfriend Lee Harrison and conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon, namely a scorpion submachine gun, and ammunition with intent to endanger life. Real sentence moments of accused persons. Stand up. I sentence each of you to imprisonment for life on count one for the murder of Ashley Dale. Niall Barry on count one, murder. Your minimum term is increased to 35 years, but must be further increased to reflect your offending in counts two, three, and in the second indictment. Your minimum term is 47 years, less 433 days served on remand. James Witham on count one, murder. Your minimum term is also increased to 35 years but must be further incre increased to reflect your offending on counts two and three. Your minimum term is 43 years, less 295 days served on remand. Joseph Piers on count one, murder. Your minimum term is increased to 33 years, but must be further increased to reflect your offending in counts two and three. Your minimum term is 41 years, less 295 days served on remand. Sean Zeiss on count one, murder. Your minimum term is increased to 32 years, but must be further increased to reflect your offending in counts two and three and the second indictment. Your minimum term is 42 years, less 448 days served on remand. On count two, conspiracy to murder, I impose a concurrent sentence of imprisonment for life on each of you, with a minimum term of 18 years custody. On count three, conspiracy to possess a prohibited firearm and ammunition with intent to endanger life, I impose a concurrent sentence of 14 years imprisonment on each of you. The sentences on the second indictment of 30 years imprisonment for you, Barry, and 10 years for you, Zeiss, will also be served concurrent. Turning to the four killers in court, the victim's mother, Julie Dale, said she would never ever forgive them. Her family released the following statement outside the court. I read this statement on behalf of Stephen Dunn, Ashley's dad. It has been 15 months since my daughter Ashley's life was taken from us in the most cowardly, callous and traumatic way imaginable. The subsequent investigation and court process has been a long and difficult journey, in particular the last eight weeks attending the trial and witnessing the behaviour of those responsible who have consistently lied to avoid conviction and tried to manipulate their way out of the life sentences that they now face. This has been mental torture for me and the other members of Ashley's family who have had to sit and listen to their lies. This has been compounded throughout by the disgraceful behaviour of Ashley's boyfriend, 
Lee Harrison, and it has been particularly distressing hearing the details of how he refused to cooperate with police or assist the investigation, even going so far as to dispose of his mobile phone. In an emotional tribute to her daughter, parents of Ashley Dale gave an interview. She, she's very, she was very career-driven. Um, she knew what she wanted in life, shall we say. I think from a very early age, she kind of always knew what she wanted. Um, she, Ashley, had just been promoted in a, in a job. She was very excited about a new promotion. Um, and she just wanted to sort of, I'd say, settle down and have a normal life, for want of a better word, shall we say. Respected viewer, thank you for watching. If you found this content intriguing, please consider liking the video. It greatly supports me within the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe for more global true crime stories.